Welcome to Share Truth and Apply Scripture, the radio program for EngageMagazine.net on American Family Radio. I am Teddy James and joined as always by Jordan Shambly and Wesley Wildman. Almost said Jordan Wesley. That, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. It was just a, you know, it's a brain fog thing. So uh-huh. um, I need I need more coffee as, as yeah, of always. Of course you do. Of yeah. course and you're going to have all kind of excuses by the time today. Is yeah, over. I am. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um. So, guys, I've got a confession. When when I was a kid, I had all kinds of thoughts about what adult life would look oh, like, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Uh, I, I, I made all of these decisions about what my married life would look like. You get like. the same amount of time, what? free time. You're just a little older, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> sure, exactly. Yeah. It's like, you know what? Here's how I'm going to parent because my kids are going to be born literate and potty trained. <laughs> and, you know, and all these things. I had a ton I don't know about that of yeah. things that were absolutely wrong uh-huh. um, when I thought uh-huh. about my adult life. And it was because I was not an adult. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now that I'm an adult, I realize I was wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely yeah. wrong. Yeah. yeah. So here's the thing. Before I was a Christian, I had a lot of um, assumptions about what my Christian life or what a Christian life would look like. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were just as wrong. And as we're sitting and we're, we're thinking about, okay, what what are some assumptions people make, especially lost people? What are some assumptions that they make about the Christian life, and how can we address those with the gospel? And so that is the topic of today's programs. We're talking about what ahead. you're going to notice too as we go through these uh, couple of assumptions, and that there's uh, like always that there's some partial truth here, so yeah. which is why it's deceiving and causes all kind of chaos. And if you get if you if you don't get the complete picture, right? So, yeah. so and th- also so why we'll you're going to hear the phrase. Things. We have to go back to the gospel. Mm-hmm. Right. You're going to hear that over and over yeah. in this program. So let's just hit. This is is uh, <clears throat> one of the first ones, and it's one that that we hear all the time, that we see all the time. So when I was growing up, I'd watch um, terrible. I know, but I watched The Simpsons, um, <laughs> Ned Flanders. I don't know if you can say that on Christian radio. Yeah, I know, but they're we'll this go character. Back and edit that out, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, but this character, Ned <laughs> Flanders. Uh, was the guy who always had to keep all the rules, right? right? Yeah. So that was my idea of Christianity. Was mm. it was just people mm. who said, "I want to keep the rules," and mm-hmm. like you just said, Wesley, there is a lot of truth in that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But Go yeah, ahead. but but to the point of you know you're trying to earn your salvation. Obviously, that's not biblical. Mm-hmm. Um, also, to the point of trying to do the right thing for selfish gain. You know, yeah. those are those are some different reasons. So it kind of depends on what your motivation. Right. Well, and also we as believers, we do follow the rules. Sure. Right? I mean, we we want to live, but it's not uh the best way that I can explain it is this. We don't have these stone tablets with 10 rules that are external to us that say here are things you can do and here are things you you must not do. Yeah. Mm. Instead, there is a law written on our hearts that says, "This is how I please my King." Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. And and Christ is my treasure. He is my love. He is my beloved, and it is Him that I yeah. want my life to yeah. please. It's out of love, and, it, and it, it flows and from is, a new nature. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So how do we how do we help a lost person who hmm. does have the perspective of the Christian life is only about following rules? How do we help? Is there a way? that we can help them see it? Because there has to be a work mm-hmm. of the Holy Spirit to help them really see it. But is there something we can do to I help? think there is. I think, um, especially if they're married, or even if they have a, a relationship with someone, um, there are rules you keep. You're, you're faithful to them, right? Mm-hmm. You love them, so you act this way. Um, and, it's, and it's helpful not to think of the, the, the law of God as being rules, but more of this is the way you love God. Mm. Yeah, um, because you ha- you're you're in a committed really committed relationship yeah. with them. That's a, kind of a funny way to say it, but this is how you love God, and mm. this is because this is who He is, and this is the stuff He doesn't like. And this is stuff that He likes, and that's uh, all through kind of the book of James. When you look at it, you know, so as a body apart from the spirit is dead, so also faith apart from works is dead. So what? Hello. <laughs> Hello. The way the way that uh, by the way, I wish people would not call on this program while we're online. I know, right? Okay? Yeah. No, yeah, goodness kidding. gracious. Oh, uh, but if you if you look at it like the way that uh, Jordan just looked at it, that's the fresher 
fresh perspective mm-hmm. and uh, I guess the most biblical way that you can look at that. Yeah, well, it, it is the gospel mm-hmm. um, because it is where we don't earn our salvation and we don't do the rules. We don't follow the rules in a way of gaining God's favor, but we do it because he loves us yeah. and we love him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But do you see how that took us about two or three minutes to explain that? Yeah, and it's the- <laughs> easier for the person on the other end to just say mm-hmm. what we just said, you know, it's all about rules, so I'm out. Right, Christians just it's follow rules. It's easy to say that, mm-hmm. but to have the discussion. So if you feel that way, just take time to, you know, pause for a second, you know, re-listen to what we just said, and really pray about this and think about it, because it's much, much more than just Absolutely, and, and here's the thing. Don't feel like you have to find an answer that will fit in a tweet. Right. Yeah. Few answers will like few good answers will fit right. in a tweet. They mm-hmm. they deserve to be discussed. Mm-hmm. And I think this next one is another one that, yeah, that I'm ready definitely. to get to this one. Let's so go. So this Where? one is really fun. <laughs> Less, so Wesley. Either <laughs> we well I'll let you Wesley <laughs> oh, introduce this one. Yeah, so n- the second um uh possible misconception or confusion yeah. or uh, about Christianity is that the Christian life is hip- hypocritical because you pick and choose which rules to follow. Mm-hmm. An example of that that we have here is that you know you eat shellf- sh- shellfish and pork, mm-hmm. but yet you speak out against homosexuality. Mm, yeah. And it's because both of those laws are found in Leviticus. Yes, they're both so, Old Testament. And that's yeah. what people will say. They'll say, well, you know, I mean, the Christian life is all about following rules, mm. but, but you're a bunch of hypocrites. You don't follow all the rules. Oh, gosh, there's so much here. Um, <laughs> well, for one... Remember, keep the answer that'll fit in a tweet. Not so. happening. <laughs> not happening. In fact, we may just run this one all the way to the end. Yeah. yeah. No, in all seriousness, you, first of all, it's important to note that the Old Testament, there are... Uh, two different, two or three different kinds of laws. You got your moral law, and then mm-hmm. of course you got your civil law, and you got ceremonial, ceremonial law. Mm-hmm. So you got a couple. So distinguishing that first is a good uh, to start there to understanding that, but also to point out that even selfish included that was in the Old Testament. You know, God had a purpose for that, and mm-hmm. He had a reason for that. Now we understand we're free from. And we've talked about this in other programs we before. Yep. We're free from the ceremony law because, again, the gospel. We can mm-hmm. point to yeah. the New Testament and see what mm-hmm. Jesus Christ did on the cross for the ceremonial laws and see that we're free from that mm-hmm. in the New Testament. For the new believers, you're free from that. But at the same time, there are, again, there's some truth in here. That you, you will find mm-hmm. some very bad examples of Christianity, right, yeah. and there are such things as people that are hypocritical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so that is damaging for, for sure to the Christian faith. Mm-hmm. However, the gospel overcomes that because you look and there's even more faithful Christian men and women and families and communities mm-hmm. all across the world and through history where the gospel continues to uh, go forward through Christian men. So you do have those. So don't negate or neglect or dismiss God's word over some bad examples because we don't agree. Oh yeah, <laughs> with right. Well, the hypocrisy and it goes into Christians. and yeah. again, the answer, the response does need to be more nuanced than just that. Was nuanced enough? For no, you? that was okay. very nuanced. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But we have to be careful when we're answering things like sure. this, uh-huh. and we have to be very clear. And we say, look. Instead of going, wait, there's no hypocrisy in Christianity? Right, yeah. right. Well, there is. True. There absolutely <laughs> yeah, exactly. is. But we also have to recognize that there is hypocrisy because there are moral mm-hmm. laws that we are called to obey yeah. that Christians, people who call themselves Christians, will refuse. Yeah. Right? That's right? So, I mean, one of the Ten Commandments, which, by the way, all of the Ten Commandments, moral law, still on us, mm-hmm. but it one of them is do not commit adultery. Sure. <sighs> yeah, you'll be fine. Guess what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people who who will wear the name of Christ, mm. and they will say, "But living with my girlfriend is okay." Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's parents that support that, and I know them, and it's bad. Right, it's right. Yeah. So yeah. what we have to do is we also have to say, you know what? You're absolutely right. There are hypocrites within the Christian community and yeah. within people who call themselves Christians. <laughs> but what you're referring to in this instance, there's more nuance than what you're getting and, credit for, and. and I, and I'll say one other thing, and then I give the Jordan uh, give Jordan the mic here. Yeah. But it's also important to note too that just because it's hip- hypocritical doesn't mean it's not a fir- doesn't mean it's affirmed in Scripture yeah. either. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I was about to say like that the, the 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 these inconsistencies found in Christians are spoken to in the Bible. Right. Like right. it addresses right. it. Found it's not it just right it's not just a list of rules, and then it doesn't say anything about anything else. <laughs> yeah. You, know? yeah. it, it, you yeah. you'll find examples in the New Testament where. Uh, a so-called Christian commits an immoral act 
the church around him applauds him in it, and Paul's like, no. No, no this no, is wrong. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. do that. Yeah, but I also kind of go to, um, you know, if if we have, okay, so we all have devices. So if you're watching us on YouTube, you'll mm-hmm. notice that our table where we're sitting is <laughs> you covered may have heard in one. devices. Here's yeah. a really good <laughs> device right here. Yeah, yeah. there we go. The Bible. Uh, hey, this, this has that in it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, but here's the thing. I, I have a cell phone mm-hmm. sitting right in front of me. If my cell phone messes up, it doesn't... Right. Now, it's an Android. It doesn't mean that the founder of Google doesn't know what he's doing. Right. <laughs> unless unless you don't right. cut out on silent before you go on live well, radio. You know, and but then even the then, you can't blame... You know, you're, you've got an <laughs> oh, Apple. You can't blame you know Steve Jobs <laughs> or whoever the president, Tim Cook, um, yeah. now for that. So we, we do have to you know kind of take a step back um, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. say, okay... Christians are not perfect, mm-hmm. and yes. we freely admit that. We we and as a matter of fact, if we were perfect, we wouldn't need the gospel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, absolutely. But we're not, and so that is why the Christian life is one of mm-hmm. repentance. Yeah. yeah, and it has to be the repentance. That's why I've been a Christian um, since I was seventeen, mm-hmm. and I need the gospel just as much today as when I was seventeen. Right. And I think about an illustration at my church when my pastor kind of preached on this topic basically and he reminded me which it was the perfect timing for me to be reminded <clears throat> because I'd been just a, uh, done wrong just 100 percent and my mm-hmm. family by a church member well what mm-hmm. was funny is he reminded me in that moment like through his preaching that we don't come to church for an individual anyways mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know we're yeah. coming to get yeah. the teaching of God's word mm-hmm. we're coming to uh, grow in him and mm-hmm. let that, and then, and then we're supposed to leave there and live a life, you mm-hmm. know. So we kind of reshaped, you know. Yeah, now, yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. and also we don't go to church to get the list of rules. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, yeah, we, yeah. we go to church to 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 learn who this God that we love is, th- who this God that loves us is, mm-hmm. and then also mm-hmm. how can we please this God. So we've got a whole mm-hmm. lot more assumptions, and again, I'm going to say it. Uh, none of the responses, none of the answers are going to fit in a tweet. So, um, the, and, and the reason, and it's not a bad thing. Each of these things deserves a discussion. Each yeah. of these things deserves the time that we're spending. And honestly, guys, probably deserves more time than what we can get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but the fact of the matter is we're a 30 minute program and we've got to move <laughs> on and we're going to hit the next assumption when we come back. You're not going to want to miss it.